Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we are going to do a live look of Neptune OS. I have never looked into Neptune before, but uh, it looks pretty promising. I might even want to try and run it uh, on my media PC soon. It looks, uh, looks kind of cool. So, greetings everybody. I hope everyone is doing well. I realize I'm about an hour earlier than I usually do on these. Um, there were reasons why I had to do it a little bit earlier, but, you know, uh, we'll see if anybody else shows up. We only have like nine, which is totally not a lot compared to usual, but, oh well, let's see what happens. Oh, let's see, Noah will be a little bit late. Faustino, HD, hello, how are you? I am doing well. Have I ever checked out Pardis? Um, no, I have not checked out Pardis before. Uh, Noah has Manjaro looking uh, installed, and how do you install software? Well, look, look at the software center, it's right there. Lord Enix, how's it going there? Yes, you're the first ones. Uh, Pac-Man and Pomek are both on there, if that's not confusing. Um, DuckDuckGo it or start page it. I prefer start paging it. Some people like DuckDuckGoing it. You know, um, I think start page is a far superior uh, browser than DuckDuckGo. Um, but, you know, um, to each its own, I guess. Uh, hello. Um, yeah, I can't pronounce it. Is, is there, like, logic to this name? A-G-C-D-1-C-S-1. It looks like plea. At the end, I'll call you Plea. Hi, Plea. Uh, installing apps can be done through Pomic. Uh, yes, um, uh, Pomic is the graphical installer, and there's Pac-Man is the terminal installer. That is correct. Hey, pizza, pizza. Everyone join me in saying pizza, pizza. Where's my pizza? There we are. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> All right, John Smith, hello there. Logan Goodwin, hello to you. And JC Disciple, all right. Well, we got seven, wow, we don't have a lot on today. That's that's kind of funny. Uh, Paper Bag Man, how's it going there? All right, well, let's go ahead and jump on into Neptune. Uh, we are going to start with uh, looking at it in the web browser, and then we have booted this into a virtual box, so we will have a look at this. All right, so uh, Neptune, of course, this is uh, this is an interesting one. It is based on Debian, um, but it runs Plasma, and it has kernel 4.18.6. So kind of an interesting mix of, uh, you know, up-to-date Plasma, up-to-date kernel running Debian. And like I said, I hadn't seen this before, and it just popped up with a new release in... Um, uh, in uh, distro watch. So I thought we'd go ahead and have a look at it. So uh, so they've upgraded system D. Of course, everyone, you know, if you don't like system D, boo, you know, I don't mind system D, but whatever. Um, updated system D version 230. Okay, yeah, maybe system D needs to go away if they have 239 versions of this thing. Um, KDE applications to 1808.2. Network manager 1.14 to uh, improve Wi-Fi network capability. Uh, Top stability and speed. Plasma desktop at 5.12.7. And of course, Chromium 70, Thunderbird 60, LibreOffice is 6.1.3. Uh, and they have Calamaris installed. And uh, that is what is up to date in uh, Neptune um, 5.6, which was just released a couple of days ago. Like I said, um, this is not a system that I have seen before. Um, you can see uh, what they have, uh, KDE. They are using Chromium instead of anything else. We have um, a variety of different tools in there. I did find they have a different menu, which is interesting. Uh, of course, there's some screenshots. Uh, looks pretty nice. They have some tutorials over here as well. So Caden Live videos and Neptune videos, both playlists. So that's pretty cool. Uh, on their download page, one of the downsides I found is that they only have three basic servers. It'd be nice if we uh, if we had a, um, a torrent of this. It actually took me about 40 minutes to download. And it's 2.1 gigabytes, supports 16, uh, excuse me, 64-bit uh, processors as well. Uh, you can see the requirements is one gig, um, uh, one gig uh, processor, 1.6 gigs RAM, eight gigs hard drive space. All right, so let's go ahead and have a look at what this looks like when we go ahead and install it. 
And as I said, um, I've already installed it, which was a good thing because I did have a, a couple of challenges with the installation. And what I've been noticing lately is that these challenges are seem to be common now among Debian-based systems. Although I haven't had any issues with Debian itself. Linux Mint Debian Edition, I had to fight with that a little bit. There was another one... Um, and that might have been Manjara, though, that I was fighting with. I think it might actually be something in the Calamaris installer where it will not allow you, like, it, it'll not be able to install over top of a disk that already has something on it. Um, so kind of goofy. All right, so of course, uh, you can see that we are here on the plasma screen. They do give us a nice, um, a nice uh, view here. We can pick there's actually a couple different desktops here gnome 2 e16 kde plasma whatever we're just going to go in and uh log in with it of course i need to enter my password correctly which is definitely not neptune all right um so here we are logged into the into the desktop and uh, i have already installed this well i should say we're logging into the desktop i've already installed this uh so that we don't have to mess with it again like i said it was a good thing that i have already installed it because i did have to fight with it a little bit oh would you go away virtual box crap no don't do that just go away thank you all right, um, and so what did I do to get the installation working? So as I said, any distro recently that I've used the Calamaris installer on, when you go and install it, I just say erase disk and install, it does not seem to want to do that. So the fix is I, and I use GNOME disks. Um, I realize there's other applications. I just know GNOME disks is fairly universal. I can go on anything I've ever tried to put it on. And then what I do is I just go into the GNOME disks and I just delete the whole thing, leave it as an empty unformatted partition. And then I was actually able to install it. So I ran the installer a couple of times to get make sure it was working. All right, so here we are on the Plasma desktop. And uh, some of the things to notice right away, um, we do have single click to uh, click on icons and desktops and things. Of course, it is set to run off of the desktop. Um, by default, we are running Dolphin as our file manager, which we would expect from KDE. We do have our Discover, which is uh, the software installer that you will find on most KDE systems. And uh, that is all on the desktop as well. We are using those icons that uh, I was first made familiar with in Linux Mint. These are icons I don't actually care for. Uh, but that's not a huge deal. We can deal with that later. It is set up very much like a Windows type system, except the menu is a little bit different. And I have never seen this particular menu in KDE before. It is apparently called the Excalibur menu. And uh, I'm sure it's been out there. I just haven't been looking for it. Of course, the menus, uh, the, the basic ones, we have the application launcher, we have the uh, dashboard menu, and we have the, um, I forget the name of the other basic menu. But this is actually a new one, which is a little bit different. Uh, it's not quite as, um, quite as modern as the application um, launcher is. Uh, but it does give us kind of more like a, a feel like the, the menu that is defaulted on Mate. So we have a search function at the top and uh, we have a favorite section and then we have other things here. I did notice a little challenge with the menu and that's that it seems to take a little bit sometimes to load things in or maybe that was just an issue on the live key. Um, but as I tried to uh, search for things, I would often have to search for it twice to get it to show up. All right, so let's see. We can show application name only, description only, name, and then description, and then description and name. So we are set to only show, um, I guess inside here, we are set to only show the name. Uh, we can flatten menu to a single level. We can sort alphabetically, uh, show recents. So there's a few other things that we can do in that menu. So let's go ahead and have a look at what is installed by default. Uh, we do have a LibreOffice, and it does look like it's uh, it doesn't look like it's the full suite. I'm not seeing the databasing application, uh, but we should have a very up to date version of LibreOffice. Um, although that is a different loading screen, is that something new to the six um, six one branch? 
I guess. I don't know. I haven't seen that particular screen loader before, but uh, maybe I'm still on 6.0 on the various things, which wouldn't surprise me. So here we have uh, LibreOffice 6.1.3.1, and let's see if our spieling checker is installed. Yes, our spieling checker is indeed installed. And we also have our synonyms installed. So all your basic plugins are going to be installed. This is actually kind of the way I like it to look the most. So out of the box, it's formatted kind of the way I really like it. No, we don't need to save any of that. All right, other things. So we have Ocular, uh, which is a PDF reader, and utilities. We have an image, uh, an ISO image writer. So that's nice. Those are the features I use. Arc for our... Um, archives, Kate, so the whole suite of things that you would find on um, Plasma. We have a Grub Customizer, that's nice. Let's do our super secret passwords that is definitely not Neptune. All right, so here is our Grub Customizer. So we can see that uh, you know we could actually um, list our configurations, we could make any changes, adjustments, things like that. So that's nice to have a nice GUI tool for that. And uh, open JDK, here's our system settings, print settings. Uh, graphics, we have Inkscape and GIMP installed by default. Let's see what version of GIMP we're looking at here. The GIMP. Okay, I'm guessing that uh, all these loading screens are just, um, are just uh, new to this particular distro. No, we don't have a single window mode. All right, there we go, fix the single window mode on that. Uh, and they're not telling us, though, what version. So that's funny. We have the latest version of LibreOffice, but they gave us the old version of GIMP. That's interesting. Hmm, maybe we have the latest GIMP in the system system settings. Let's go ahead and click this guy up. Um, going to tell me which packages they are? I'd appreciate it. Hmm, not GIMP. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll go ahead and let this guy do its update. Since it's only three packages, how long could it take? It's probably going to take 20 minutes. All right, but we do have an old version of GIMP and a new version of LibreOffice. That's a little weird. We have Inkscape. Um, of course, our K Color Chooser. We have LibreOffice Draw. Uh, Internet. We, uh, we have Conqueror and we have um, Chromium installed. So two different web browsers that may or may not be... Um, um, clunky to you. Um, Thunderbird is our email uh, client that we have installed. We have K Network Mounter, Multimedia, Amarok, our door. Really? Why did they install our door out of the box? Say, so isn't this a. Um, Session name is Bob. Hello, Bob. I don't know. I don't remember how to use a door. I thought our door was um, just go away. Quit. Thank you. I thought a door was one of the music synthesis applications. You guys tell me. I, I can't remember what our door is again. Uh, we have Caden Live installed by default. Let's see what version of that we have. No, not KDE. Caden Live. 18.08.2. Uh, uh, and let's see. We have Audacity, Encode, VLC. So, I mean, it looks like we just have a ton. Like, the system might be a little overbloated for some people, but maybe it's geared towards multimedia. I don't know. There seems to be a lot to do with multimedia on there. A couple of games uh, at a default. Our system, again, we have the ISO uh, image writer. Back in time sounds like a, um, uh, like a backup system. Not completely sure about that. Let's go ahead and see what our system load looks like here. Looks like we're not running on on too much. So yeah, we're running on just over just over half a gig. So uh, 0.64 gig. So it's uh, not running uh, not running on uh, on too much. So it's seems pretty snappy as well. 
Um, not noticing any real issues. Of course, we are in a virtual box, so that could always impact some system performance. So kind of themes we have installed by default. So first configure desktop, and we have a lot of different uh, wallpapers we can choose from. Let's go with that, look at that, nice. So some of these are plasma wallpapers that I recognize. A few of them are things like this is another Neptune wallpaper. Ooh, I like that. That's sweet. I like it. All right, we're going to stick with that one. All right, um, our system settings. Let's see, here's our look and feel. Of course, we have a Neptune Classic. Uh, we have a Coppertine, if you happen to like that. Let's see, or Coopertine, I guess it'd be called. I don't know. Um, so that one looks like we have our Breeze, Breeze Dark. Uh, we have a uh, Neptune Dark look to it. So let's see what that looks like, very nice. Uh, then we have Neptune. What's the difference between Neptune and Neptune Classic? I like the Neptune a little bit better as far as uh, lighter themes are concerned. Oh, the Nep Neptune Black X. Neptune Blue X. The blues, eh, I don't like the menu bars. And the Untitled, which looks kind of like an Ubuntu picture. <laughs> Yep, kind of an Ubuntu-like theme. I think I like this one best, the uh, the Neptune Black. I think this is nice. Look at that translucency in the uh, menu bar. And let's see if there's translucency in the menu as well. A little bit of translucency in the menu. So that's actually pretty nice. I, I like that. Here's your colors. Variety of different colors there. I'm going to go ahead and keep it how it is. Fonts. Icons. These are the ones that I'm not a huge fan of. Let's go with oxygen. Application styles, let's see, Windows decorations, we have breeze, ambience. I think that's kind of the one we're, we're on. That's for the blue one, it looks like. Yeah, I like these ones the best, but we have a, a variety of different things. Application, here's the year, uh, GTK theming. All right, so that's good. Widget style, that's good. Go carbon actually for that. Our desktop behavior. There's some effects, screen edges. There was a screen edge turned on on the. Um, oh, it is there. Okay, I was gonna say there is a screen edge turned on. I didn't know which one it was. So that was top one. There's touch screen settings. So I want to try this out on a touch screen now. Uh, since KDE added touchscreen support, I wanted to, to try that out. All right, let's see if there's anything else. Startup, shutdown, search. I think that was kind of it. Let's see. Let's account details. Online accounts. I think that this was a, um, yeah, the, uh, since I've been, uh, I haven't used KDE for a while since they've added online accounts, so I kind of want to try that. Uh, sometime soon, see how well that works. Um, but there you go, we have um, we have a lot of settings, a lot of nice theming, um, very nice system setup. I I do actually like the uh, I do actually like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. This is uh, this seems like a a pretty nice system. So I think overall, I might even give this a try. Although I I'm not a huge fan of this particular menu. Um, I prefer, like I said, I prefer the, um, no, don't log out, cancel. 
My preference is actually the application launcher if I'm on KDE. I really like this one the most. Um, just kind of gives me the, it's, it's more of a modern feel to it. That's kind of what I like about it. Uh, alternatives, we have the dashboard, we have application launcher, application menu, we have a simple menu and the Excalibur menu. Not sure what the simple menu is. Let's see what that one looks like. Looks like it's kind of like an unconfigured uh, menu setup or something. I don't know. I'm not sure I like that one. Um, yeah, our Excalibur menu is not bad. Like I said, the application launcher is my favorite on KDE. So that's pretty nice. Uh, of course, if you are new to KDE, you can add these widgets, um, which you can get to by hitting the Add Widget button there. You can also hit it by um, adding widgets over here. And uh, the widgets that you get here, um, you can add a variety of things, you know, various clocks, uh, various other tools, calendar, CPU usages, dictionaries, just a lot of different things that you can actually add directly on your system. Like I like, for example, minimize all windows, and I like putting that directly on my desktop. So uh, right on my taskbar, kind of like the, the Windows has it. And we have pagers. Um, Let's see if there's anything else I might want to add. It's timers, of course, a weather forecast. We could drop a weather forecast over here. Now, with your widgets on KDE, um, you can have your, we're going to need to right click this and format this. So let's go with, uh, I always forget, I always, I always uh, forget this one. I need to hit the search button, not the enter button. There we are, apply that. Now I have a nice weather on here. Now I can hold and drag this and drag it around where I want it on my desktop. But then if I want to be able to turn off the ability, um, I can either right click the desktop, hit the lock widgets. I can also hit it. And what that also does is that gets rid of the uh, hamburger menu that's on the menu. Uh, so now we have a nice setup. We have widgets. So of course, you can take your widgets and you can put them on your taskbar as well as uh, putting them on your desktop. So uh, you have a lot of those capabilities. So here I can unlock my widgets and then I can add extra panels. So if I want to have another panel on the side or on the top or something, I can add extra panels on the system. Uh, which is uh, a pretty nice feature uh, overall. Uh, let's see, are there alternatives to panels? Um, yeah, there's window lists and things. All right, so that looks like uh, Neptune. Um, overall, uh, I really like what I'm seeing here. Um, I like the fact that it is a Debian-based, uh, but it is running an up-to-date Plasma and a very up-to-date kernel, meaning that this is going to support more modern hardware than you're going to find. Um, so if you are looking for a good Debian based with KDE with a more modern kernel, uh, this might be the thing to go with. And uh, I'm actually gonna keep this on my radar as a potential distro to run and do a more extensive review on. So that's kind of my thoughts on Neptune. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave that open there for a little bit, see if there's any questions I have in the comments about it. Uh, but let's see what we got here. Okay. Good to know we had some more folks jump on, so hello, everybody. We kind of started an hour earlier than I usually do. I have some phone calls to do after the stream, so um, we'll see. Let's see. Should be should set a key binding to those emojis. I uh, don't know, maybe. Ryan, how's it going there? Is there any way in Ubuntu where you can bring up emojis like Windows 10? Um, I don't know. I really... Um, you know, since since uh, I hit puberty uh, 20, 30 years ago, I stopped caring about emojis. But, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, Noodle Linux. Hello, Mark Prince. And welcome. I don't remember seeing you on the channel before either. So hello. And everybody join me in saying hello to Mark. Uh, been using Ubuntu for about a month. Awesome. Can't believe it took me so long to switch. Yes, very good. Yeah, I think I want to run Ubuntu on my uh, system over here. I want to run 18.10 for a little bit and see how it has improved since the last time I ran a test of Ubuntu. But yeah, it is nice and solid. Hello, Analog. How are you doing? Okay, when I say Ubuntu, I mean Ubuntu sisters or derivatives like Mint. Yeah. 
you heard of Microsoft's new $20 Linux distro, W Linux? No, that makes me scared. Um, but, you know, maybe a lot of people will buy it because they got it, and then it'll be like, uh, you know, wait, what do you mean I can get this stuff for free? <laughs> that would be cool. Like System D never had an issue. I haven't either. Um, in fact, I found adding things to System D startup fairly easy. Um, of course, I have a video about how I built a book server. I have an ebook server uh, on my internal LAN in my uh, home network here. And, you know, I had to add that to the to the system on uh, using System D. And well, I didn't have any problems with it. A lot of people like to hate System D. Uh, zero issues with System D. Yep, yep. Uh, I haven't either, so. What if I could pre get a press copy of W Linux? Some of people work for MS. Go for it, man. Give it a try. Let us know what you think. Hello, Quint. How's it going there, sir? Wi-Fi card decided to be slow. Upgrade to Neptune. It might work faster. I don't know. Well, of course you're on Fedora, though, so you probably have more up-to-date stuff than this. I don't know. Frost Ranger of the Frozen Realm. Hello. I sent you your mouse pad yesterday, Frost Ranger, so be looking for it in the next couple days. In fact, let me see if I can find when it should get there. Uh... Do, 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 do. Estimated delivery should be on Friday. So, Frost Ranger, check your mail on Friday. You should have a mouse pad. Uh, hello, Mark. Greeting. Whoa, I clicked the link. Okay. Um, let's see. Mark Prince must be the Prince of Chat because somehow he managed to put a link in here without being a mod. That's very unusual. Unless Google changed things again. Um, but yes, uh, the W Linux link is in there from Mark. So uh, have a look at that. Uh, I find my PC Mint to turn off IPv6. My Wi-Fi card will stop working after a minute. Huh. All right. Sorry, admins. I should have asked before posting. Don't worry about it. It's all fine. I'm just surprised you were able to post a link. Hi, kitty. How are you? Want to say hellos? Hello, peoples. All right, buddy. There you go. There you go. You can you can sit on your, your cat pad. It's not a mouse pad. It's a cat pad. All right. Let's see. Isn't this a live distro? Which one? Neptune? No. Neptune is installed. Okay, it's removed automatically per the settings. Yeah, I no, it just seemed to still be there. I was able to click it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Need to be the same. Let's see. Excalibur has been around for a while. Huh. Oh yeah, I've never seen it. Can I have a mouse pad? You want? Uh, I'm jealous. <laughs> Well, you know, if if uh, if the other winners don't get me their contact information within another week, I'll either do another drawing or just give them out to the top members in the community. I don't know what I'll do with them. Um, so uh, for those that have not, the, the winners that have not yet given me, oh, actually, Lord Annex, you are a winner if you're still on here. Uh, you won a pin. Um, I need you to... Send me a your address in my contact form on the website with a key that you also reply to the winner comment on the um, sub uh, the the um, 20,000 sub giveaway. Uh, I'll get that out. Aurelian Rosca, uh, Fat Frank's Catering, TG, and Troy Hall. You guys were all winners, and I have not yet seen an address yet. Um, in about a week or so, if I do not get those addresses, then I will do with those winning items what I will, which might be do another drawing or it might be giving them out to some of the top contributors of the community. Okay. Pizza loves spreadsheets. Or spreadsheets. I mean, yes, spreadsheets totally rock. I love spreadsheets. They're so fun. Okay. 
Sleepy Eyes. How's it going there, Sleepy Eyes? Good greetings to you. Uh, yes, spreadsheets are wonderful for business use. Yep, upgrade my RAM or laptop from 4 gigs to 8 gigs a few days ago. Had a junk laptop with a bad motherboard lying around. Found how easy it was to upgrade, so I decided to take the plunge. Woohoo! Yes, it is very easy to take the plunge. Spreadsheets are overwhelming. Now you just gotta learn how to use them. Um, start with simplicity and then learn how to use them. Password is Pluto. Ooh. Okay, door is a is a DAW, so it's LMMS. I thought I thought our door was just like LMMS. Um, weird that was in there. Mousepad was something I was particularly hoping to win. <laughs> okay, Neon is about 500, 600 megs on idle. That's what this seems to be. Neptune OS, never heard of it. I never have either, but it's actually really cool. I'm going to want to run this. It might be one of my new favorite distros. Another Debian-based uh, system. At least it has KDE Plasma. That has nice for change. Yep. Okay, still learning real Linux. Okay, have been running KDE as my daily driver now for a while now. It's improved a lot. I would say my previous experience was buggy. Yeah, and I think that, uh, I mean, ever since Plasma, uh, KDE 5 Plasma came out, man, oh, Plasma is just so much better than it was. Place Peppermint 9, I'm just not digging Peppermint OS. Um, okay, just not digging Peppermint. All right. I'm not sure I'd dig Peppermint on a full full size computer. I absolutely love it on my netbook though, which I do my writing on. Absolutely love it. Battery life, I get six or seven hours on it. Beautiful system, starts fast, ends fast, runs fast. Back looking look and feel settings, check the use desktop layout from theme options. It'll completely change how layout looks. Go back to the look and feel settings. All right. Use desktop layout from themes. All right. Yep. So what that did is um, now it changes kind of everything. Oh, I gotta. I have to re-switch it every time I click on something. So do that, then do this, then hit apply, and there you go. Now it does that. All right. So it even pulls in wallpapers and such. So let's apply this. So now we even have a, a menu setting, very much set up just like a Mac. All right, this stupid bar needs to go away. Thank you, VirtualBox. So now we have an entire setup just like a Mac. <laughs> this is pretty rocking. Thanks for uh, pointing that out. Let's go with our untitled that curiously looks like Ubuntu. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> we have an Ubuntu build. See, the Ubuntu one, though, should give us, yeah, it does give us the dashboard. Nice, very nice. Okay. I think that one of the things that it's not doing is as it changes out, it's keeping this dock here. So I got a, which dock are you? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Let's get rid of it. There it is. So now I have my setup back to uh, kind of back to the the main default. So let's go with this one. Use desktop layout. See what this one looks like. So yeah, I, I uh, never even stopped to look into that. There you are. Wow. I kind of like it how I had it before, but uh, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool setup there. Mm 
All right. So very cool, very cool indeed. Okay, let's see. Peppermint 9 feels kind of dragging to me, not very snappy. Yeah, I'm still on Peppermint 7, so I don't know how 8 or 9 is. Uh, does this basically re-download the whole program when you ask it if you want to upgrade a program and then download a bunch of other code non-related? Wait. Does this basically re-down, uh, re-download? What does what basically re-download? I'm not sure what you're talking about there. A video about Battle Royale on Linux. Ooh. Uh, come on, YouTube needs to fix this comment system. All right. Ooh, Ryan Coin likes hamburgers. What a coincidence. So do I. But pizza's better. I probably am going to concur. Hamburger pizza's the best. Hmm, never tried hamburger pizza. That does sound exciting. Um, I, I actually made some pizza sauce yesterday. So I'm going to be doing some pizza tomorrow, I think. I've ever run Kubuntu, the most reliable stable with KDE. I have had to believe it, uh, believe it or not, was on Arch. Hmm, okay. Well, I think the biggest reason to use Neptune is if you want a Debian package base with an up-to-date Plasma and kernel. Um, that's probably why I would use it. I also wish Mint would bring back KDE. Um, yeah, however, you can install KDE on Linux Mint. I actually did a video about that. Oh, Quint Wingate says spaghetti is even better. Hmm, I don't know. Hello, Chip. Greetings to you. Watching election recap news on MSNBC. I should be thrilled, but I'm actually worried this will screw, will screw up our path on a foreign trade. Yeah. Was Firefox, if it came with it, been dragging into code with developer tools and almost all Chrome code, and was nasty piece of spyware now. Hmm. Revisit my inner child? Uh, all right, I'll think about it. It's going. I'm sick of being... So dependent on China, the one thing that he's done is made me excited. I think the tariffs are a major boon to U.S. economy. Yeah, that we are way too dependent on China. There's an old video, I don't know, about, it's about three or four years old now, where it's kind of like a mocking video. It's like inside a Chinese boardroom, and they're laughing about how stupid us Americans are because they've given us too much over-reliance on them. I wouldn't even know how to go about finding it. People who are so vocal about disliking System D, can you guys motive? Um, you guys can motive uh, motivate it, or it's just complaining. I don't. I mean, I don't know. I've never seen why what the problem is. I have an, an idea. Kyra Holmes bought one of Tasa's T-shirts. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Word for decisions on the economy with Obama's policies. We struggled so hard so long. Yep. Do, 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 do. Are you going to look at Solus Gnome or Plasma? Ah, maybe eventually. Using uBlock Origin, having problems with videos not playing on YouTube? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, how's selling cheaper? Steel ripping off. USA Steel is inefficiently produced. Hmm. Still have nightmares about spread shirt, spread shirts, uh, spread sheets. Wow, he wants saying spread shirts because that's where I have my do my t-shirts through. Uh, nightmares about spreadsheets. Here I work as a project manager. Yeah, I don't really have nightmares about them, but yeah, I, I can understand. I've done over a thousand of them in my professional career, so I you'd think I would be having nightmares about them, but I'm just a geek and I like them. So, oh well. I was hoping to win the coffee cup. Just buy one. Yeah. Uh, Shop.switchtolinux.com. You can find the link to buy a coffee cup. 
Add-ons you recommend for Firefox. I do not recommend add-ons. Too many issues with add-ons. Too many of them spy on us. Too many of them get hacked. Too many of them lead to issues. So I, in general, I don't use add-ons unless it's specifically exclusively for work stuff. How are the media codecs supported? Um, you know, I don't know for sure, but I'm going to guess they're supported pretty well, being as that there's so many media packages installed. Um, I don't know. Let me see if I can actually access a network serve and... Okay, let's see, music. Okay, let's see, sermons, videos. I am getting that weird bug back. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where's my desktop view? There we are. All right. I'm getting that weird, weird bug back where I moved a document over here and you'll see that the, the home folder kind of got like this thing is still there. And that's kind of a little bug that I noticed on another KDE recently. Well, audio is playing just fine. So this is actually my audio book. Uh, this is on Script D so far. I haven't seen it show up anywhere else, but uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. So audio seems to play all right. Um, I don't have any video I can draw in there right now. So I don't know. After I get a chance to run it for a while, I'll let you know how the audio codecs work. I'm printing USD all the time. Let the rest of the world have inflation because the coupling of USD to the oil. Hmm. Yeah. Hello, Anna Rita. Greetings. Hi, Anna Rita. Where's my digital girl? Okay. Don't lay on my keyboard, kitty. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, Israel Intelligence sells U.S. stolen secrets to China. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, okay. All right, woo, spell the name right this time, all right. Okay, really nice distro. The wafers which are used for those chips came from the Netherlands. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, all right. Okay, kitty, don't throw my camera around. <laughs> Okay. Now we're. Uh, YouTube, fix the comment system. Mm, good terms and cooking with fire. Fire? Fire? If you say fire? Fire! <laughs> fire! Fire! Tim, how's it going there, Mr. Tim F? How are you? Lord above, I joined into the chat and STL has 80 people to watch in. Very cool. And only 15 thumbs up. What's up, guys? The thumbs up button not working? I don't know. Uh, but hello, Tim. How's it going there? Be better if the world uh, wouldn't be, uh, uh, if the USA wouldn't be a superpower anymore. Uh, probably. Are we a superpower anymore? I don't know. I think we're just too lazy to be a superpower, personally. Of KDE, you can make it look like anything you want if you're willing to take the time to customize it. Yep. Like my sleep too on the weekends, but not when the wife starts to ban pots and pans, pots and pans for our breakfast. There you go. Kitty, don't throw my camera around. Leave my camera alone, kitty. P 
People don't like the pocket thing, but the way pocket works is downloads all trends articles and shows you what you might like just done offline. Yeah, I don't like pocket on there at all. Mozilla needs to back off from all this crap. Download a live extra stuff when you want to install a simple program for repository. Yep. Yeah, they shouldn't be downloading anything. They shouldn't be going anywhere unless I say to. Hamburger pizza is pizza with ground beef, lettuce, tomato, and pickles. Pickles might sound weird, but it's really good. Hmm. Does it have your traditional pizza sauce too? Taco pizza is pretty good. Cheeseburger versus cheese W? Hmm. Cheese Whiz? I don't know. Spaghetti pizza, that'd be interesting. Mozilla checks add-ons before adding them to their store, unlike Google with its web store. Yeah, probably. All right, come here. You got to get off the desk because you keep on messing with the camera. There, you can sit on half of the desk. You got, you're stuck right there. There you go. Kitty keeps on messing with the, with the camera, like not allowed. You have to move your mouse an inch and click the thumbs up. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Add-ons recommend uBlock Origin, HTTPS Everywhere, Privacy Badger, Ghostery. There you go. Yep, use those from someone who recommends them. I don't personally, but that's okay. All right, let's see. Uh, Tim, Quint was one of the ones on the live stream the other night when you were on. Quint jumped. Oh, wait, no, Quint did not jump on for a little bit, did he? I don't remember if Quint jumped on for a little bit. I don't remember. Um, but yeah. Quint meet Tim, Tim meet Quint. Uh, CJ, your girl is being nutty. She broke one of my wife's vases with flowers and then licking up the water. See, I mean, you should have just given her some water to drink and, you know. <laughs> okay. Let's see. There are enemies, but Trump doesn't understand that. Uh, I like Pocket and seeing great articles on it. See, I think that it'd be like, hey, would you like to install the Pocket add-on? No problems. But when you embed it into the system and start working with that crap without asking me about it, there's where we've gone too far. Because guess what? I know exactly where I want to go for articles. I don't need you to tell me. But Google can't do advertising like that. They have to send all your stuff online, yeah. Yes, it has pizza sauce. All right. Okay. About the oil, USA made the trade for gold USD. Let's see. I'm, I'm just going to stop reading the political commentary back and forth because I don't care. Okay. Pickles, yummy. I'll read the food comments. Mmm. Melting cheese. Yep, yep. Firefox now gives add-on suggestions. <laughs> Stop giving us add-on suggestions. Like, I don't recommend add-ons. Too many things. Like, you know, that whole 81 million Facebook leaks? Faulty add-on. I don't care if they've checked them. You know? Okay. Yeah, doing it the router level is way better. Resting a ton and getting healthy. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and shut down Neptune at this point in time. Go ahead and shut this bad boy down. It has cool, cool sound schemes on it, too. And uh, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up here on the next uh, next little next few minutes here. I think. Let me move my comments over here, and of course that means that we are going to have to um, we're going to have to let me move some stuff around here because we've got ourselves a kitty to feed. Oh boy, kitty! Oh boy, you know it's coming, don't you? You know it's coming, don't you? Don't you? You know it's coming, huh? Ah, it's kitty treats. Put 
that tail down. People don't want to see that part of you. Go get it. Stick your face in there. You get it? Yeah. Good job, buddy. Ready? One more over here. And we're going to give you one more, but you're going to have to turn around for this one, all right? Nope. Over here. Nope. <laughs> over here, buddy. Over here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Are they finger licking good? Oh, now you're getting a good kitty moon. <laughs> Sorry for the kitty moon. <laughs> Give me you. Come here, you. Come here, buddy. Was that good? Was that was good? Let me keep. <laughs> yep. Crazy kitty. Crazy kitty. Crazy, crazy kitty, kitty. All right, let's see. When does Zorn come out with a new release? I'm not sure. I don't follow Zorn very much, um, so I'm not sure exactly when when they come out. Use browsers built-in malware protection, yeah. Just tried to watch this right now. Now need some sleep. All right, runner. We will catch you later. It will be on later. It's not going anywhere. But uBlock Origin, it's open source. Don't bother. I have a host file with like somewhere around 30,000 lines of blocked stuff and I updates on a regular basis. And, uh, you know, all I need to do is just drop it back into... Um, I need to drop, basically just drop it back into a system and my router updates it every 12 hours. So um, I don't bother with it. Um, I mean, if you're looking for one, if you don't have access to your router or you can't do a host file adjustments, things like that, it's probably okay. But, the, okay, the biggest problem I see with uBlock Origin, um, let's go ahead and, and have a look at that since we, we have a few extra extra minutes. Okay, let me go back to desktop view. All right, so here is uBlock Origin. Okay, which one is it? Is it this? Is it this? Is it this? There's, of course, AdBlock from AdBlock. There's AdBlock from this. There's this. Um, looking just at this, notice that there's this one, this one, and this one all contain the same one. And then there's this, which I don't even have anything from. My guess is this is may or may not be this because, of course, there's a difference between you and mu, okay, the Greek letter, to a person that is not as knowledgeable about this stuff, you would get very confused as to which one is which, okay? And then the challenge becomes which one's the real one? So if I were to go out and say, I recommend uBlock Origin, you come on here and you look at this like, well, which one's uBlock Origin? Maybe one of them is the real one, but it's a little harder to configure. So you're like, well, let me try the other one instead. And that one's easier to configure. You're running malware because I recommended you use uBlock Origin. So I don't want to recommend it, even if it is an open source application. Um, probably better than absolutely nothing, but there's too much indiscriminacy in here and I can't trust which one's which. I can't necessarily easily personally tell you which one's which, so don't care. That's my problem. That's why I'm not going to recommend uBlock Origin because of that. Um, it's too many issues. Uh, Linux must make you hungry because the discussion is often about food. Yep, absolutely. I use turn off the lights and add on follows me, uh, allows me to turn off 60 frames per second on YouTube videos. Otherwise it kills my battery. There you go. Ted talks on Cody is working now since I updated it. Yeah, I think, I think there was something going on because I had issues adding things to my Cody library, which is, is also weird. So yeah, that's, I noticed that you needed to, if you've had issues with your Cody box lately, run all updates. That seems to fix things. To watch the replay and see the whole Neptune deal. You're going to wake me up? Uh, no, no, there's there's no craziness on this one. Uh, it should be a nice, calm video for you. I'm sure there is a way to disable it uh, in the um, 
uh, in the about config. I haven't looked into it yet. Green Stan, how's it going there? Biggest problems with cryptocurrency. Okay, big banks. Extremely problematic. Okay, let's see. Kitty seems to like to show us the butt. Yeah, well, I think one of the problems is I have a camera here and a camera here, you know, and they're kind of opposite ends. So, you know, because a cat, you know, has a cute thing on one side and an ugly thing on the other side, you end up on that one. All right, let's see. I'd say the one of 4.7 million users is the right one, probably. A privacy browser extension to block it. Um, that one is from uh, privacy browser is from EFF, I think. Privacy Badger is what it's called. Yeah, and there is really only one of those. I've heard that that one's also pretty good as well. There's Ghostery, which is pretty good. I just don't want to rely on any of them. There's too many problems and issues with plugins. <laughs> Only one, and it's the second one. <laughs> you lock website and download it from there. Here you go, yeah. Yeah, and, and that, that's the thing, Pizza. We know to go to the GitHub places, grab things like that. We know to do that, but your average user doesn't. And if you're just looking for simple user tips because you don't know any better, and I say go use this plugin, there's three of them that are all looking like the same thing by three different people. And so that's kind of an issue. I'm using Pogo Music Player, not I. All right, guys, uh, we are going to go ahead and jump off for this one. So thanks for coming along. We should be doing another stream tomorrow, actually right about this time. should be 7 o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Uh, that, one will be a, um, that one will be a supporters stream for Patreon and Think Life Media supporters. Uh, so if you guys can uh, come along for that, I'm not sure what we're going to talk about yet, but uh, don't forget, like the video if you liked it, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, if you like doing such things, and we will talk to you later. Thanks for coming along and take a look at the links in the description down below. Uh, let me address this one before. Do I put up with ads then? No. My router on my entire home network blocks all ads from all networks on my platform, except I let a few Google ones through for YouTube stuff. So I allow YouTube ads through. Other than that, nope. I don't have to deal with them. I don't have to put on extensions because I use host file to do all that. All right. With that, I'm out of here. We'll catch you guys later. Yes, Rex, you're late again. My apologies. The video will be up there shortly though.